what it do bacon bits your girl poet oh still under the weather but bringing you your just curious report so let's get right into it jay leno has officially announced his retirement he's passing his throne over to jimmy fallon so watching the tonight show when that starts happening and kicking off Beyonce released a six-second video today begging everybody to tune into her tomorrow morning because she has a major announcement. This better be good because, you know, my mornings are spent with coffee and donuts. Lamar Odom, okay, you already know. At first, he tried to say that the whole charity situation was just a misunderstanding. Then some people tried to say that it was part of another scheme and he had nothing to do with it. Then Chloe came to his defense, but now the charities in question that he's claiming that his charitable foundation Kathy's kids gave money to are like we haven't received any money at all in years so where exactly is the money I guess it also doesn't help that Khloe Kardashian is telling people that 90% of the funds raised at Kathy's kids is Lamar Odom's own money I'm confused but maybe again that's just me now this is on top of the report on outside the lines where they also said uh, that although his mission statement on Kathy's kids is about helping kids with cancer, none of the cancer patients have received any money either. That's just sad and whack at the same damn time. Okay, so Talib Kweli has gone in on Rick Ross and his date rape lyrics that Rick Ross is still denying were rape lyrics. I'm happy to see people stepping up and saying something about what has to be one of the... No, that's not the worst. The Emmett Till, Lil Wayne lyric I thought was close enough to the worst but finally stepping up and saying this is not what we want hip-hop to be and it shouldn't be about that and dear Rick Ross just because you don't say rape word for word saying that you slipped somebody a drug and they were so drugged up that they wouldn't remember or wouldn't even know that you had sex with them is date rape please pick up a dictionary and read something Mike Rice is out as Rutgers basketball coach. This is what happened back in November a video was out where he was throwing balls at the players it was all kinds of Oh, so it was just bad. Gay slurs, pushing him, shoving him. He was fined $50,000, suspended for three games, had to go to anger management. But when the video was replayed recently, everybody called for his head, and now he ended up fired. I guess it doesn't help that for the past three seasons, Rutgers has been in the toilet. So while they're saying it's his performance, I'm saying it's people pissed at that video. But should a video that is from November that he's already been reprimanded for cost him his job now is the question at hand. MTV is paying for all the funeral arrangements for Shane Gandy's from Buckwild, as you know him, two men found dead in their car. Seems he went mudding after hanging out at the bar and died of carbon monoxide poisoning when his car got stalled in a pit of mud. I don't know if today's an official holiday. I just woke up to do this report. So in closing, I'll say, shout out to DJ Clue who got popped for driving on a suspended license, then got found with illegal pills, wrapped in tin foil, and is now sitting in jail. I can't wait. Hip-hop keeping it too real. Enjoy your day. I gotta go back to my Debulizer and get ready. So tomorrow I can give you a fresh face report. Have an amazing day. Be a blessing. I gotta go.